morning folks hopefully <laughs> you never know technology and all that how's everybody doing just me on my own I think at the moment ah Jilly how you doing just me and you in the house how about that, Jilly? <laughs> Ingrid, morning. Emily, how you doing? Just give everybody a couple of minutes just to um, come join us. How you doing, Angela? Well done, Angela. You're a technology wizard. <laughs> to be honest, I'm the same. It's hit and miss, isn't it? How you doing, Linda? Shirley? Morning, Pat. How's everybody doing? Janet, how are ya? Jill? So I'll just give uh, another minute and then we'll begin, I think. See how we go. How you doing, Jenny? How you doing, Alan? Thought you might have been in abroad, Alan. Evelyn, how are you? Okay, folks, so we're going to begin. So we give thanks that we're gathered here today and we ask that this place be filled with love and light and friendship and healing energies and surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through each of us. As your crown chakra opens and you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your entire being then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra and feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love balanced by nurturing protecting love of mother earth harry edwards prayer may i be thankful for all the blessings i already have and grant me relief from pain and sickness and protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Bring all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity and let me be conscious of your strength in times of need and grant me the confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do that which is only right and true. And I pray that your good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your people as to be as brothers one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. So we now ask that all peoples, all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good and we also request healing for their family their friends and people who have requested distant healing so for just one moment we'll be still and know that the healing is being sent and may they be placed in the healing light and receive that which they're allowed to receive for the highest good and our thanks and blessings for your help here today to all our friends in spirit so for just one moment we'll just be silent still
Thank you, folks. The Sanctuary Prayer Heavenly Father, I surrender myself to the good influence of your healing ministers in spirit, that through your divine healing power the disarmonies within me might be overcome, and the stresses of mind and body be eased and lessened day by day. Help me to adopt a more positive and helpful way of thought, and bringing me closer into harmony with those around me, and with the divine healing purpose. And for those who are sick or in darkness of despair, who do not know of the help that can reach them from spirit, I pray that the awareness come to them soon, that they too might experience the upliftment of spirit that can lead us all through harmony towards true health. <clears throat> Thank you very much, folks, for, um, for joining us, really, today. So what I wanted to do was what I am going to do is a little meditation on gratitude. I guess there are two things that we kind of lose sight of. Well, I do anyway. And my observation of people really is this, it's pretty much the same. Um, we lose sight of gratitude for what we've got um, and always trying to reach for something more. And I'm as guilty as that as you and anybody else. And then forgiveness. When anger gets in the way, we kind of lose sight of that. So I wanted to do a little bit on gratitude um, and then the little meditation um, called Gateway to Peace. So, um, yeah. And what, we, what this gratitude meditation is going to be, it's a bit about giving thanks for yourself to your body. You know, and we... <laughs> It asks very little of us, does it really, the body itself. So we're going to do a little meditation on gratitude to ourselves. Uh, and then we're going to go into this other meditation. So if you want to join me, fantastic. We'll put a bit of music on in the background. <clears throat> so gently... Close your eyes. And simply become aware of your breath. And the rise and the fall of the stomach as the breath enters and leaves the body. And any sounds, any thoughts come to your mind, just leave them. And just watch your thoughts. See when you no longer try to control them. They jump from yesterday, back to today, and even on into the future. Become a detached observer of your thoughts and watch them as if they were clouds drifting across the sky. You're just here to relax. To let go of all those things that were said and done yesterday, all those things that were said and done the day before, the week before, the month before, all of those conversations you carry in with you today, simply let them go and relax wherever you are whatever you're sitting on or lying on. Just relax. And then become aware of the breath. And notice the breath. It's slow. Is it quick? It change its rhythm. What's the pace of the breath? And you can observe it as if you were observing something in nature, a life of its own. Detach from that. Detached from the need to control. 
even the breath. And just allow it to find its own natural rhythm, its own natural pace. And then perhaps you can observe what the breath alone teaches us. We're given what we need in the present living moment. You don't have to ask for it, strive for it, reach for it. It's just gifted to you and I. There by the grace of God go I. How amazing is that? This gift of life given through the breath. How incredibly profound is that? And with that awareness, understand that the breath teaches us to let go. With every out breath, let go of what's no longer needed, what's no longer required. And in this moment, Everything's okay. And begin to see if you can sense something around you. A peacefulness beyond the words, beyond the noise and the clutter. Calm, residual, constant energy. And with each in breath, begin to absorb and take in that energy, that peace. that calmness. That's it. And just allowing that breath to settle you down. To center you. For the breath can be a gateway. to peace. Harry said, peace is the greatest ambassador for change in oneself and others. What if you let go of the need to change, to coerce, to manipulate, all of those people and environments around you. What if you just let go of that? How much lighter would you feel without the need to control? Because in truth, we can't. But we can change the space we live from slight shift in our awareness in our consciousness and imagine your own awareness expanding out far from the mind from the body all around you and presence felt. 
and seeing your own mind and your own consciousness on some level as if you could touch that peace not physically not even mentally with your own spirit that connection to the divinity and those healing energies Harry Edwards often spoke about around you each of us in your own unique way and I wonder if that softens you just a little inside with the awareness you're not alone it's impossible for you and I to be really alone sometimes when we're in the head caught up in the story of life the to-dos, the wants, the desires all of those things we lose sight of this connection to spirit and if you imagine that that stillness is the most translucent veil And in that stillness, the veil lifts. And your awareness of spirit itself, those healing energies, they want to be with you and I. Draw close. Open your mind, heart, consciousness to the awareness of that presence and imagine it filling your entire being and imagine a portal within your own body where this light those healing energies can enter yeah. that doorway in your own heart gently begins to open and the softness ensues gently through this veil of stillness light enters your whole being and see now if you can connect to that presence with sincere appreciation and feel in your own heart gratitude and if you wish to you can place your hands on your heart with every in breath silently to yourself repeat thank you thank you thank you thank you Connect to that peacefulness, such a beautiful awareness of spirit, consciousness, the divinity with you, remind you of who you are. And what you're connected to here 
now. Allow it to soften your shoulders and your arms and your chest and your stomach and your legs. Almost as if your entire being is being filled with this love, this light, this awareness, this healing. And turn that attention, that gratitude, to the awareness of the body itself. For seldom do we give thanks to the body. Let's do that now. And taking your awareness to the eyes. And give thanks for the gift you've been given of sight, to be able to see nature, people you love, sights all around you, give thanks to the eyes, thank you, 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 to the ears to be able to hear music, these words, the voices of those you care about, the sounds of the sea and nature, and so much more. And give thanks for the gift you've been given today, of being able to hear. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To the nose for the sense of smell, to smell aromas, nature, food, even the people you love, babies, so much more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift you've been gifted today. For being able to sense smells. For the man, to be able to taste food, to be able to speak words of kindness, gratitude, to be able to voice your opinion, to communicate. What a gift you've been given. Thank you to the mouth, to the voice you've been gifted today. and down through the arms to the hands to be able to feel skin holding someone's hand to be able to touch nature what a gift you've been gifted today to the hands to be able to hold to express to feel to the whole skin itself, to the whole body, to be able to feel skin against skin, to feel closeness, to be held, to hold. What a gift you've been given. What a gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And down through the digestive system, to the stomach. How amazing are you? to be able to take food that you eat and turn it into energy. How incredible are you? How amazing is that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the digestive system, down through the legs, to be able to walk, dance, to get around, how amazing are you? And give thanks for the gift you'd be given to be able to move around. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And bringing your awareness back to the heart and still allowing that light to pour in to the heart itself. 
to be able to feel love, kindness, to be able to feel another person's presence. Today, what a gift we've been given. What a gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And allow that expansiveness, that appreciation, that gratitude to fill your entire being now with its presence and bathe in your own magnificence, your own beauty, your own wonder, your own extraordinariness of who you really are and give thanks to the body and to the mind to be able to think clearly, to redefine each moment. How incredible is that? The mind is the link to mind. Feel that peace. And beyond the body itself, beyond mind, therein lies truth of who you are. Here's the truth. You are the light of the world. You are so important, special, gifted, with a sense of purpose. Feel yourself as light connected to the divinity, the supreme light. And allow that to change your perception. Begin to see every other soul, every other person, beyond what they say, beyond what they do, beyond the physicality, they may have lost sight, just like you and I do. Begin to see them as light. Your brothers, your sisters, family. Each of us, family, soul, consciousness. How beautiful is that? And bringing your awareness into your heart and with sincere appreciation, give thanks for everyone in your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bathe in that stillness those gentle healing energies, cleansing and purifying the physicality itself. And let it soften you today. Humility is the ability to make someone else feel loved. Allow that kindness to anchor to every thought today. Allow that gratitude to be for yourself. To the body. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then gradually and slowly bringing your awareness back into the room, wherever you are. 
perhaps feel a little softer, a little calmer. With this awareness of being filled with the light, with the understanding that you're not alone, you can never be alone. Gently open your eyes, relax. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men and light is now anchored on earth with you. And from the point of love within the heart of God, love has come forth into the hearts of men and love has returned to earth with you. And from the center where the will of God is known, purpose is guided in the little wills of men and the purpose which the masters know and serve. And from the center, which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out and cleansing harmful energies. And love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. So folks, you can give yourselves a nice little stretch if you wish to. And I was going to do another little meditation, but we're done for time really today, to be honest with you. So anyway, I hope you got on okay with that. And um, give thanks to the body. Uh, just that appreciation, that gratitude. And, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. So remember Harry Edwards, the girls there and all the staff there, absolutely fantastic. They'll take your calls. You know, if you want to be added to the healing book there or any other questions you've got, you can have some distant healing there and, and go into the sanctuary itself and go and have some healing. You know it's, it's there for you. And that's the ethos of the whole sanctuary. That The whole sanctuary is dedicated to you guys and to us. Um, so, you know, it's there. And connect to that and connect to Harry in your own way today. And um, listen, God bless. And, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. So thanks very much, folks. God bless. Bye.